Well, we are just a few weeks away from screaming fans cheering on their favorite college basketball teams. The NCAA First Four will once again kick off inside UD Arena. But before the big games is the big hoopla. The community is coming together to build all the excitement. Mr. C is here with more on the annual STEM challenge at Shamana, Julianne, yeah. great to have you here. Thank you so much. It's been an amazing weekend. I've been out in public doing shows all weekend, and I'm just coming off with a rebound right now. You know, it's just, uh, yeah. And actually, I'm here, I'm here with my favorite team on air with you guys. It's, we have more of this all day long. So, um, dad jokes are great. That was classic. <laughs> that was a science joke. That's not even a dad joke. <laughs> um, but what's really cool about it is, is you know, Hoopla STEM, uh, DaytonHoopla.com um, slash challenge, is an amazing event for kids. It brings together STEM, and it also brings together this idea that we are a community learning together and it focuses around sports, right? There's nothing better than basketball and sports and uh, when it's happening. And so, you know, we UD hosts the first four, and we're so excited about that, and it's just so much fun. But if you're looking for shooting, having some fun, checking out Mr. C, I'm gonna be doing some hair-raising science. I'm gonna be doing three shows on oh, Sunday, the kids will love that. March 11th. I'll be there at two, three, and four. And uh, you guys should come check it out too. And maybe get you on stage and uh, blow some stuff up. But speaking All of blowing right, things I'm there. up, let's blow some up. Check out these guys. We have two basketballs here, NCAA. Okay. Oh boy. Um, basketballs and uh, this Wilson brand. Doesn't matter the brand, but what's really cool is if you look at a basketball, there's some science that goes with it. And so go ahead and I don't know if we can get a shot on the camera, but pick it up and you can feel it. Can you feel something on that? It's like, uh, oh, how do you describe this? I mean, it's something it's, that easily it helps sticky? you uh, grip it. Yeah, it's yeah. like a little stick. It's grip, right? And those are like little pebbles, right? So right. basketball was invented in 1891 um, by Dr. James Naismith. And what's really cool, over time we've developed this basketball that has these little pebbles that create friction. So can you palm that, Zach? Can you palm it? She said she's a baller. He's a baller. Now hold it up. That's a cheating palm. Like hold it like this. Yeah, no. eat that LeBron, right? Yeah. So, well, I lost my touch. <laughs> so what we have here is this basketball has this grip on it, which is really cool. But also inside of this, what do we have inside of this ball? Air. Air. Air, right? And we can increase the pressure. This one is a little what? It's a little deflated here. This yeah, one so is pretty firm. It, it's basketball, but we, we can relate to that, right? Yes, the deflate gate. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so it's really important when you're playing basketball that we um, inflate it to a certain pressure. And I think NBA balls are between 7.5 and 8.5 PSI. And that's so that it bounces a certain way, so that you don't have an advantage off the rim, et cetera, um, or gripping the ball, you know, throwing, passing the ball. But what's, what's really cool is um, if we take this, we can do some things. So go ahead and bounce that on the table. That one bounces. It's, it's not... Keep going, keep going. Oh. <laughs> she said she's a real baller. Um, but Get me what's dribbling. really cool, she's dribbling right now, and she's exerting a force down on that. She's exerting a force down on it, yes. and the table is pushing back up on it, right? Uh -huh. So if we increase that pressure, that force is exerted differently. But what we're gonna do is, have you ever wondered what's inside of a basketball? Yes. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so I brought, I brought a knife and I brought a glove, and we're gonna cut this open and, and put this on, because worst case, okay. it blows up. I don't think it will. Let's proceed with caution here. Yeah, so we're gonna cover We only have 30 up. seconds. So I'll cut really fast. So we're okay. gonna try to cut into this. Oh my gosh, I've never thought I would see this done before. <laughs> Cutting into a basketball. Nice, I got it. <laughs> you might have been able to hear that wow. puff of air, but yeah, what we're we trying to do, Oh. Someone went to the gym today. No, I was watching you do squats yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so, I did squats in the show so yesterday. So inside of this is we have this membrane, right? It seals it and oh. basically we put in air and it's a little talking basketball head now. Or Pac-Man. Pac Come check out Hoopla yeah. STEM with Mr. C on March 11, 2018 from so 12 to 5. <laughs> Talk like that the whole show, by the way. Okay, uh, dokie. <laughs> so you're going to be, uh, we have the information right there. You have three shows that day, right? Yeah, I'll be there at two, three, and four, but the events go all day long. It's super amazing and super fun for an entire family. It awesome. really is a whole lot of fun. March 11th, go check it out. Of course, also happening that day is the Four Miler. You can get all the ticket information, everything you're going to need to know, DaytonHoopla.com slash NCAA tickets. Thank you so much, Mr. C. Thank you.